20 questions with Christian Calloway. Christian, welcome to 20 questions with. How are you? Oh, I am doing so good. Thanks for having me. Oh, you're welcome. Right, we're going to go straight into it, uh, uh, Christian. You don't know what's going to happen here, but we're going to go for it. Yeah. So no, I've never, I, I don't know what you're about to do, but I, I'm sure game for it. Okay. <laughs> right, first question. Uh, favorite color? Green. Oh. I think green's very um, uh, calming and a, a, a color that, would, that people can be warmed up against. Yeah. Um, favorite meal? Oh, breakfast. <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> Of any style or sort. <laughs> um, how do you enjoy spending your uh, your free time when you are not working? Well, that's a very good question. Um, going to thrift stores would probably be the most entertaining thing that I do, and, and I I seek that out. I'll get on my computer and look up thrift stores if I'm in a new town, and um, yeah. So I would say thrift store, yard sailing, things like that. Yeah. Um, what would be your superpower? Kindness. Nice. Um, when was the last time you cried? I cried while I was editing a video that I'm putting out in support of a cancer patient. When I saw her image in a hospital bed, it made it very difficult for me to continue the edit. Um, tea, coffee, or neither? Coffee. You got me on the go now? <laughs> <laughs> Good man. <laughs> um, do you feel it's important to have regrets? Yes. I believe that regrets are very important in building wisdom. Yeah. Um, if you could trade places with anyone for a day, who would it be and why? Oh. Um, I can immediately think of characters or uh, religious figures um, but but I don't think that those would truly be my answer if I would really stop and have to really put some thought into it I think it would be my own father just so I could understand how it was to be inside of the body of a man that was such an incredible person that's a good answer um uh, what country would you like to visit that you haven't already? Australia. The beach or the woods? In the same day, both. But I think I would my best preference would be a cabin in the woods. Sounds good. Um, what motivates you? Being able to provide for other people is my main... It, it's the only thing that, that motivates me. Uh, in my career, I strive to be a top actor because I know if I am, I can help other people. Um, I, I have a slogan that I use as a charity, will work for change, helps in fulfilling the needs of others. And I would say that that's what I'm all about, is just fulfilling the needs of others because it's very difficult for so many people and they're so lost in not knowing what to do. Not to, how to how to handle situations and um, if I could be there for them that's what will keep me fueled up to go on another day what was the last song you listened to hallelujah which version my own uh -huh. <laughs> what is your preferred <laughs> that is interesting yeah yeah um, what is your preferred alcoholic beverage Bud Light. Ah. Yes. Ah. What is your best quality? I, I have to go back to, to, to goodness and kindness again. Uh, it's the first thing people notice about me, regardless of the rough crowd I may be in or the, the gentle crowd I may be in. Within just a few minutes, somebody will always come up and go, you are such an incredible sweetheart. I, you, we just adore you. And they don't really know me, but they just know the way I carry myself. And um, I would think that those are, that's my best attributes, just being good and being kind. That's great, man. If you won the lottery, 
what would be the first thing you'd spend money on? I would buy a ticket to Germany to uh, the, the, the famous horse barns they have there, and a ticket also for Becca, so she could go and pick out her own horse that she could then uh, fly back to the U.S. and uh, train and live on a nice farm with cats and horses. That sounds great, yeah. Um, and, and speaking of which, funny enough, what is your favorite animal? Cats. I, I, I love kittens. I grew up on a, on a horse ranch, so I've encountered pretty much every animal in the area of livestock uh, and what you have running around on a ranch, but there's really nothing nothing like a, a kitten or a cat curled up in your lap or around your neck or just, just there for you just to love you. And I, I really love their character. Yeah. Um, if you could visit another planet, which one would it be and why? It would be Mars because I worked um, 25 years as a uh, nuclear physicist, uh, nuclear engineer, um, and I worked for NASA. Uh, SpaceX has been seeking me out many times to uh, come work for them because I'm just very good in the field that I was in, uh, probably the very best in the country at, at the time. Um, so my reputation is still out there. And SpaceX has come to me a couple times, just recently as three months ago, and offered me a, a large sum of money to, to stop acting and come to them, which I won't stop the acting. But if I did, it would be with SpaceX, and I would uh, be helping to colonize Mars. Wow. Have you ever bungee jumped? No. I skydived. Ah, well, that's pretty daredevil stuff as well, yeah. It's more than I would do. <laughs> what is your favorite season of the year? Don't really get many seasons. Southern California. Um, it's just fall and summer is basically all we have. Uh, however, I thoroughly enjoyed a vacation I took last year to Jackson Hole, Wyoming, in the dead of the winter, um, 12 degrees below zero. Um, uh, I enjoyed that snow. I think it could become very cumbersome, but I sure have a lot of joy remembering the times that I spent in snow. Yeah. Um, are you afraid of clowns? <laughs> no. <laughs> I, actually, I actually grew up uh, starting at 16 years old as the character ZZ James, and I played a, uh, a clown, a children's clown, which was stemming off of my uh, rodeo clown, because I worked as a rodeo clown also. So from the time I was 16 till about 25, being a clown was what I was all about. You know, I, I, I can see though where clowns could become that way, uh, and Hollywood's really making some scary looking clowns. Oh but, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I, uh, I don't have any issues with clowns. Oh, that's great. Um, well, that is actually the 20 questions with Kristen. You got through them really rapid. Yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't know if I would, would should expound more or. Oh, you or could what. say what you'd want, to, whatever you like. Yeah, yeah. There's there's no particular time set on it, but but the thing is, we finish them, so we can't go back to them. That's the kind of rules of the game, if if if, if you want to call it that. Um, but I do appreciate your time doing this, Christian. It's been great speaking with you, and um, I also hope you guys enjoy this one. We will also be back with more twenty questions very soon. Until then. Take care and goodbye. Oh, thank you, Frank. Goodbye.